My name is Johan Arnfeldt and I'm the manager of exhibition technology at Moskva Museum Denmark. Moskva Museum is the second largest cultural historical museum in Denmark and it's like 50 years old now. But in 2014 we opened a brand new exhibition building 6,000 square meters of exhibitions. We are trying to design the exhibition for three generations. Uh, so it's the children and the parents and the grandparents. And uh, we're trying to make this immersive environment with the use of a lot of exhibition technology, like 100 projectors, uh, more than 300 discrete audio channels. We are setting the mood for the visitor experience and the whole family just enjoys being there and see those spectacular settings. So I think that's why we just keep on attracting new visitors. Exhibition designers, architects are very creative people and uh, they tend on to get new ideas uh, in the whole exhibition design process. So one of the key factors is that we need some flexible infrastructure so we can add or remove hardware uh, late in the exhibition design process. Besides that, it's, uh, the reliability is very important because one of the worst things is to, uh, to disappoint visitors. Uh, and then of course the, the quality, you have to make uh, the content look uh, the very best. I think that the ability to use networked infrastructure for uh, video feeds and the audio feeds uh, is one of the, the main things that has happened in the last years, uh, which again is giving us a possibility to use a flexible infrastructure. Uh, and I think uh, this is also what we're going to see in the future, that it is more networked infrastructure, but also the ability to uh, monitor and control the different types of hardware together on uh, one platform. It was again this creative process where we needed to add or remove speakers late in the exhibition design process and uh, we were able to do that uh, because of the, the, the smart IP infrastructure. It's uh, much more cheaper to do the installations because we only have to use a network cable both for powering and uh, for distributing the signals. So that is a key factor. Uh, besides that, the ability to control the speakers, to adjust the speakers uh, remotely is uh, very valuable to us. When we're using sound uh, in the exhibition, we really don't want the visitors to think it as speakers hanging around and playing uh, sounds. We, really want them to be not aware of the speakers and the sounds. One of the best things is when customers or visitors are telling about the experience and they are not mentioning the speakers, for example, but I still can hear them telling that they had this immersive experience. Uh, and this is when the quality and the design is so good that they make an impact on an unconscious level.